Uh, we're going to go ahead and combine section 6465 here because they're all pretty closely related. Um, the approving triangles are similar using three different shortcuts at our disposal. Angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. Uh, clearly, as of right now, those probably don't make a whole lot of sense to you. But as we get plugging through these notes, hopefully by the end of the notes, you're pretty comfortable with them. Okay, so what these are, they are shortcuts to proving triangles are congruent. I'm sorry, similar. So, uh, so far through this chapter, the only way to show that two triangles are similar, you'd have to show me that all three corresponding angles are congruent and all three sets of sides are proportional. Well, what these are showing you is that you can actually do them a lot more efficiently. In other words, if you can show me that angle K is congruent to angle Y and J is congruent to X, then you don't have to show me anything else. You automatically know now that triangle JKL is similar to triangle XYZ. Be aware of when you're naming these things, right? If you go J first, J and X are corresponding. Okay, K and Y are corresponding, and then L and Z are corresponding. So it doesn't matter how you write it, just make sure that those particular points line up. SSS, or side, 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 simply says if you want to show me that two triangles are similar, just show me that all three sides are proportional. You don't have to show me anything about the angles. Just show me that the corresponding side lengths are proportional, and that is enough. And then the third one, side angle side. Uh, again, it's you got to pay attention to what it is. It's side angle side. In other words, the angles between the two sides you're talking about. So in this diagram to the right, if you can show me that angle X and M are congruent, and you can show me that ZX, o, you know, and MP are the same ratio as XY and MN, then the triangles have to be similar. Okay, again. It's side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Be careful of that. Don't get that confused. It's not SSA. It's SAS for a reason. Okay? So here they are kind of summarized. All right? Angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. So example number one says determine whether the triangles are similar. If they are, write a similarity statement and find the scale factor if possible. Explain your reasoning. All right? So uh, in... Example A here, I'm going to do a little bit of legwork here. I know that, okay, that angle is 22, this is 90, so I know that um, angle F here has to be 90 minus 22, which is 68 degrees, okay? And so now I know that angle E and angle B are congruent, they're both 90. I know that F and C are both congruent, they're both 68. Okay, so that's enough now to tell me the triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Again, just be careful. Make sure you line up your corresponding pieces. Um, the scale factor, well, let's just make note here. The reason that they are similar is because of AA, angle, angle. And the scale factor here we cannot find because we don't know any side lengths. Okay, so we're going to just say NP for not possible. Can't do it. All right, part B. So let's see here. I have, I know angle L and angle X are congruent right away. Okay, so angle L is congruent to angle X. Now I'm going to look to see if I can say any other angles are congruent. So I'm looking at J, K, and Z, Y. I can't say anything about those, so clearly I can't use angle, angle. So now I'm going to compare my sides. All right, I know that LK is the smaller side, or I'm sorry, is the larger side over here, and the larger side in the other triangle is XZ. So LK over XZ has to equal LJ over XY. So I got to see if those are proportional. If they are, then they're similar. Okay, well LK is four over XZ is 16 and LJ is 3 over XY is 12 when I reduce both sides 4 over 16 is 1 over 4 3 over 12 is 1 over 4 check okay and so now I can say triangle JKL 
is similar to triangle. Uh, let's see here. J corresponds with Y. So Y, Z, X. Okay, Y, Z, X. And the scale factor we just found is 1 to 4, 1 over 4. Okay, could be 4 over 1 if you looked at it the other way. It doesn't really matter which way you do it as long as you're consistent. Okay, so scale factors 1 to 4 or 4 to 1. Okay, and then part C here. Um, so we're trying to identify if, and again, let's see what the question is. Okay, if, if there are any uh, similar triangles. So uh, in this particular diagram, I see three different triangles, okay? I see one, the blue one. I see the red one. And then I obviously see the black one. So I have to actually check all of them, okay? Now, clearly, I don't know anything about angles here, so I know I'm going to have to use side, 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 okay? So first of all, let's look at the blue triangle. In the blue triangle, um, the shortest side is KM. So we're going to compare the blue and the red first. So in the blue one, the shortest side is KM, and the shortest side in the red one is LK. So those are corresponding. That has to equal... Uh, let's see here, the middle side in the blue one is LK over the, the middle side in the red one is JK. And that has to be the same as the longest side in the blue one is LM. And the longest side in the red one is JL. Okay, and so... Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to go through and just substitute things in. I know what KM is. KM is 16 over. I'm going to go ahead and plug in all my blue ones first. LK is 28. And uh, LM is 32. And all of those go over, let's see here, 16. Uh, LK is 28. Um, JK is 49. And JL is 56. Okay, so now when I simplify these, 16 over 28, uh, 4 goes into both of them. 4 goes into 16 4 times over 7. Uh, 7 goes into 4, 28 4 times over 7. And 8 goes into 32 4 times over 7. So check. All of these corresponding sides are proportional. And so now I can go ahead and make the conclusion that triangle... JKL, the red triangle, is similar to the blue triangle. So if I go JKL, let's see here. JK was the middle side. And the middle side over here is KL. Uh, so I went from middle to shortest. So I got to go middle, shortest. So LKM. Okay, so again, sometimes this can be a little tricky how to name them. you got to make sure that your corresponding pieces match up. So let's just verify here. Um, KM corresponds to LK, true, LK and JK, LK, JK, good, LM and JL, LM and JL, we're good. Okay, and your scale factor was obviously 4 to 7. Uh, part D, so we have to do a little bit of legwork here. So I know... 71 and 78, so that's 100, that's 149, subtract from 180, tells you that this angle here is 31 degrees, I have 31, 31, okay, so Q and G are congruent, R and F are congruent, therefore triangle P, Q, R is similar to triangle um, H, G, F. Scale factor, can't find it, but that's because of the angle-angle postulate. Okay, Angle-angle. Part E, okay, this is a diagram that you're going to see quite often throughout this chapter because they are very, um, these types of diagrams involved, involve different types of relationships that we've already talked about, okay? For example, when I look at this diagram, it's not immediately apparent what shortcut I'm going to use. However, um, I'm going to encourage you all to use the process of elimination and look at it and ask yourself, how many angle measures do I know? 
Okay, and the answer to that question is, well, I don't know any angle measures. One thing I do know for certain, though, is that I do have a pair of congruent angles. I know that these two angles have to be congruent because they're vertical. All right, and I think it's pretty clear now that we're going to try to use side angle side. So I'm going to compare. I have 9 is shorter here and 12 is shorter there. So I have 9 over 12, and does that equal 18 over 24? Let's see here. 9 over 12 reduces down to 3 fourths. 18 over 24 reduces down to... Um, let's see here, 3 fourths. Check, scale factor, 3 to 4. Okay, so now I can say triangle PQR is similar to triangle uh, TSR. And that is the side angle side postulate. In part F, again, look at the information you're given. We've got... 27 degrees, 27 degrees. Um, I've got 53 here, so let's see here. 27 and 53 makes 80. Subtract from 180, that tells me this angle here is 100. Um, Q and G are not congruent, therefore there's no congruent triangles here. Or sim I'm sorry, similar. Okay, example two says show that the triangles are similar. So they are similar, we have to show that they are. Okay, and here's the trick. It's pretty clear that uh, so I'm looking at the blue triangle, and then I'm looking at the red triangle. It's pretty clear to me that we have 49 and 49. There's one part. Now, the other question is, well, i got to use angle angle. I don't know any side lengths. Okay? And the trick here is angle R happens to be in both triangles, and it's congruent to itself. So what you would say here is angle R is congruent to angle R. Remember, that's, whoops, that's the reflexive property. This is kind of where I told you we, it kind of comes into play a little bit here uh, as we're working here. And then you know that angle RTV is congruent to angle RQS. Therefore, triangle RTV is similar to uh, triangle RQS by angle, angle, shortcut. Is either DEF or GHJ similar to ABC? If so, what's the scale factor? Okay, and so what we're looking at is corresponding sides. Again, take your short sides and compare them. So I'm looking at this guy and this guy first. Compare your shortest sides, okay? So I have 4 over 8 equals 6 over 9 equals 8 over 12. If that's true, then they're similar. 1 over 2 equals 2 over 3. Not equal, not similar. That guy is not. Okay, so now I'm going to compare these two. Again, compare your shorter sides. 16 goes with 8, 18, the middle side goes with 9, and 24 goes with 12. Uh, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. Check. They are similar, and the scale factor would just be 2 to 1. Um, so again, just, just checking using these shortcuts. Okay, find the value of x that makes the two triangles similar. So what this boils down to is you know that the ratio of your corresponding sides have to be the same. So AB over DE, okay, so X minus 3 over DE is 20, has to be the same as BC over EF, has to be the same as AC over DF. Okay, and what you'll do here is you'll just pick two of them. You're not going to use all three to work with at first. So I'm going to choose these two to work with first. So I'm going to cross multiply here and cross multiply there. So I get 20 times 4, which is 80. And then 10, I got to distribute it. So 10x minus 30. Add your 30 to both sides. So I get 110 equals 10x. Divide both sides by 10. So x equals 11. So if x is 11, all right, then those two triangles are similar. You could have used these last two if you wanted. Um, it really won't matter which two you use. You can use any of them, and uh, you'll be fine.